a very beautiful sunset this afternoon. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful walk from Aruba. We are situated, as you can already see, from the beautiful port of Oranjestad, where we'll be doing a walk around the port. There are three cruise ships in the port today. And let's get the camera here. Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome back. My name is Airo. Her name is Marlene. And we're going to do a walk yes. around Oranjestad and check out the port area. Uh, today on a fairly busy port day. Uh, not the largest cruise ships, but they are still quite large, actually. Yeah, they're huge. And, uh, and we do see a lot of folks still walking. This is the time where usually folks are heading back to their ship to leave at five or six. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know the schedule for, of, of every uh, ship right now. There is a website, you can check that out. And that's one of those things that we like to do. Yeah, yeah. To, uh, we love to see them leaving. Yeah. Because um, yeah, when it's evening and the colors are so nice, and they come so close when you are watching. Very yeah. very nice. It's you can get quite close. Simple. There are different spots uh, that you can do that. I have to be careful here a little bit. I think we're gonna cross and go on the other side of the road. And there's also a gas station right outside um, the gates where a lot of folks come and buy you know like anything like drinks and things like that yeah. and if you do rent a car that's also very convenient to have it here in case you have to uh, bring it back with a full tank of fuel mm -hmm. so th Super those are the, the, the tips we can start giving you and also the views I saw the Norwegian Dawn and this is Royal Caribbean I'm not sure which we'll take a look later on as we pass by them and of course there's also the free winds as usually here and this part is actually like a waiting area also for the taxis and buses so um, if you are let's say waiting for a tour usually they are over here sometimes they can get also inside of the terminal uh, I do believe that some buses some taxis do that uh, that's that's usually handled by the cruise ship so you don't have to worry about that another or some of the other things that we can point out is a souvenir, pretty large souvenir market, and a squeaking, squeaking break. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we saw folks standing here in line, and I think some of them are still kind of like like in line to take a photo here at the I Love Aruba sign. Mm -hmm. I will go around these folks and. give you somewhat of an idea of what it looks like in case you want to do that uh, it's quite fun actually when yeah, you visit I think so too you visit other countries and cities you take a, a photo at the sign nowadays that's become a very popular thing mm -hmm. to do to like I was there I was in Aruba <laughs> <laughs> now if you are interested in trying to walk to the beaches which is let me take a short moment here for a motorcycle so if you are trying to make a walk to the beaches now going on the once you get outside of the gate uh, which is this one you take the I love Aruba sign and you continue heading that way all right it should be like a walk of how many minutes would you would you guess? To the to the drive beach, to the Tamarain, for example. We, uh, I think ten minutes. 
10. If you walk... Uh, if you're a fast walker. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 20. Okay. If you're not so much. <laughs> Now, during the day, it's, it can get really, yeah, really hot. hot. I mean, right yeah, now, it's still true. hot. Mm -hmm. It's still hot right now, but it's doable. But of course, you're not getting to Aruba at this time. Usually, most cruise ships at least don't get uh, in uh, this time. We did see the, the Celebrity Edge, though, coming yeah. quite late the other day. Not sure why. And it stayed on Sunday. I believe we had... Uh, some su subscribers on that cruise. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, yeah. we did not get to uh, see them or meet them. But yeah, well, I totally overlooked something I wanted to, uh, something I wanted to talk about just briefly. For those that are familiar with Aruba. Now, this building is Kind of like an eyesore or what's the English term again? Eyesore? Maybe you can help me with it. In any case, this building. Yeah. Uh, there's talk uh, recently that maybe the uh, Ports Authority as well as the Tourism Board are interested in taking it over. And uh, mm -hmm. it is a monument, by the way. Mm -hmm. And so they are kind of like interested in restoring it and making it like a visitor center or something like that it's on the per perfect uh, place it would be perfect yeah i I, yeah. I would so like to see that building so i, I think it's yeah. a great plan mm -hmm. uh it's i don't think it's fully confirmed but i think it's a great plan and uh, let's hope it, it it does happen so the royal caribbean is the voyager of the seas and this is the the gate you come with a tour they'll probably leave you here somewhere and uh, just outside of the gates you can also find like information um, boots or not boots but information and also let's go on this side briefly so we can check out the the um, souvenir side mm -hmm. And uh, it's really and very busy on this. Moment. Very busy right mm. now, yeah, for sure. And and you know, one of those things that I, I get a lot of folks telling me, I'm not into souvenirs. Um, that the downtown should not be about souvenirs like this. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, it wasn't. Uh, I would say 20 yeah. years ago, it wasn't. But as you can see, there is still a lot of market for it. Yeah. A lot of people still buying They're it. Buying. And it's conveniently yeah. located just outside the port. Mm -hmm. So I think like, um, you know, we just have to accept what it is. Uh, I would like to see less of it though at some point. I mean, it hasn't been growing, I wouldn't say. But it has been, yeah, maybe just a little bit too much. I would like to see more things like I have seen recently over here, a development of this building where they have done a fantastic job of creating more like the local experience here. And you got from the, oh, this one has changed, Marlene. The first one? The Anchor Fish yeah. Company. That's change of name. I'm thinking the, if I saw it before, but I don't think so. No, this no, is, I, I don't know how long ago. We, we passed by here like every couple of days and you don't realize it. But they got the coffee, the Island Grind coffee, and you can buy cocoa. And also remember to go on the inside. There mm -hmm. are some local things to try, local experiences. So definitely that's one of those areas that you want to do that. and. Huh. It is, um, uh, what's that, uh, 17 of March, <laughs> I forget it. <laughs> oh boy, I really forgot the, the name. So oh. just before oh. our celebration, this is filmed on the 17th of March. Um, Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Thank yeah. you. I'll <laughs> Good that you're here because I would have probably forgotten. Yeah, I saw the... Yeah. The colors of it. Yeah. yeah. So, 
uh, tomorrow is the national flag and anthem day mm -hmm. and um, we usually have like we, we don't celebrate the St. Patrick's Day here but we know no. about it yeah and uh, this would be the street that most folks would start walking to we're gonna take instead I do have a few videos there and I wanted to show another area that I don't very often go uh, through. Well, worth noting that we have taken the tram when it is running. We've taken the tram here yeah, yeah. from this spot. Mm -hmm. uh, it usually runs mostly, uh, I would say, um, during the, the, day, the day, mostly. Yeah. And uh, we have to, we have to like, scatter around the, the music it's overall the place so that's something that's really critical every time the old gates by the way used to be here and then they moved it a few years ago to this part right. so this is where we used to get in uh, normally let's try to really really speed it up it's also where you can usually bring back your car your rental car and such this back area and uh, wow, that music was loud. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hopefully we are doing okay. Mm -hmm. We are using a double microphone system. Yeah. So if I'm talking, that helps not letting the music in, but it, it, it's still, she could still go quite far and it would still pick it up. So that's one of oh, those oh things my. that, oh. yeah, <laughs> you, you want to usually, um, we want to usually try to avoid and uh, not having to cut or talking the video and explaining and uh, keep having the information for you. So these are probably some folks that went, uh, so they hired, they rented rather a Jeep and mm -hmm. did probably went for a an island tour in the Jeep, uh, maybe the national park, which is what is often um, um, recommended and done. Mm -hmm. They will go to the natural pool, which is the Conchi. And we haven't been there. Uh, have we been? No, we haven't even no. been there together. Not together. Oh. As soon as my foot gets uh, a little bit better, we'll, we'll try oh, to do that. To. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. Should, uh, and children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's a place we should definitely go go to one of these yeah. coming weeks uh hopefully if my feet yeah does well it hasn't uh, it's been doing better mm -hmm. and thank you for your concern last week but it's still uh eh. <laughs> no it's but i'm i'm thankful that uh, it wasn't worse i love to see the ships yeah they are uh, oh my god very very uh this one you I, I said a moment ago it's not big well it's big <laughs> whatever <laughs> it is quite big it's a voyager of the seas i've never been on a cruise ship but when i see this i think wow <laughs> yeah. i think i want it yeah look at the slides back there it's like you're sliding super almost outside outside yeah i see super cool <laughs> so yeah this is um folks also ask me often about drones in Aruba well you got to keep out of certain areas and this is one of them uh, the basic areas of like I'm talking about the drones so where you would have to avoid not flying well it's uh, pretty basic mm -hmm. if you own a DJI drone which I do uh, it will tell you the zones in Oranjestad mostly it's uh, zone two i think so you do have to get the permission to fly sometimes but still you are able to and avoid flying like here over military installations over mm -hmm. uh, the airport is very obvious <laughs> and things like that and uh yeah let's take uh let's see if we can get just like a peek at the eurodam rotterdam Am I in between? Yeah. <laughs> so there, this is, uh, oh, of course, it's Dutch. Holland America. Of course, it's Dutch. 
Definitely Dutch. <laughs> Just part of the plan this afternoon. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, Marlene is Dutch. This is your first video you've ever seen from us. Marlene is Dutch. She's got her own channel also. I keep mentioning it because I think that she should be getting more and more subscribers over to her channel. She does, for now, mm -hmm. mostly create short, um, short videos. So like um, a couple of seconds, maybe a minute. Mm -hmm. You can tell probably more about it. Yeah, it's, it's um, most of the time 15 seconds uh, and um, sometimes a minute. And um, well, I hope to make uh, videos longer uh, when I have more um, um, power in my body. <laughs> yeah, and, more uh, energy. Energy, yeah, yeah. and but that's going to be... Uh, happen it's gonna happen yeah I, I think you've been doing a great job i'll say it again uh i enjoy because i now i i, I tell her i've created a monster because <laughs> now i'm getting my payback for letting when i when i go out with say my son or my father i'm constantly filming now she's doing it <laughs> with me so i know how it feels now <laughs> but kidding aside she's been doing a really really great job thank you with the videos and sometimes I just like want to relax myself so uh, we, we still make a little bit of content but just on another channel mm -hmm. the channel's name by the way uh, is Travel Dutchy Travel Dutchy and I think it stays Travel Dutchy it stays <laughs> yeah it stays that's fine yeah that is fine oh this is new <laughs> I remember this painting. No. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. That's pretty I nice. love the murals. Yeah. They're beautiful. So this is the Lima Bistro. Or is it? Should I ask? <laughs> but yeah, it still is. So many yeah. things changed. So I was just thinking like, is it really still? Um, and the easier? We, yeah. Uh, a while back, about yeah. a year, a year ago, ago or so. I think, yes. More or less. It was super good food. <laughs> Yeah, it was, really it was good. exclusive. Yeah, and everything they deserved were, was so beautiful made. And yeah, it was like art on your um, disc. Yeah, yeah your, your plate. Yeah. Plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very... Um, uh, we, we tend to forget that English is not my first language. English is not your first language. I speak Papiamento, you speak Dutch, and no, we do our best English with our first, English, and I'm <laughs> helping her, she's probably yeah, correcting me here and there, <laughs> and we're still making mistakes, that's okay, I'm sure that you get, most of the time you get to the point where we're trying to <laughs> I say, hope so. and uh, yeah, and, and the thing I find about, oh, look at that crab, it's pretty big, Ooh. that's Necker. pretty big. <laughs> So the, um, the Dutch language is ac actually often very similar to the English, except for the pronunciation of, or, or minor differences in, in, in writing. And that's, uh, that, yeah, well, that's something that, that we, it, it makes you it confuse, right? Uh -huh. With the English language. This is also this building, uh, Airbnb. Uh, there are, you can, I don't know if they're still available for, uh, for buying, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of folks have bought property here at this okay. building. It was uh, abandoned for quite a few years and then they, they finally finished it. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to see it because I, I, in this case, I think it gives the downtown area like a cool, I don't know, the look at this, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. There are a lot of, there were, like everything else, a little bit of controversy with it. But I think in the end, it's a good project. And a lot of Airbnb are being rented from there. For those that love that, just a little bit, maybe more of a city uh, vibe. Waf Irancho, that's the ranch. I'm trying to <laughs> translate it. Wow. Uh, 
So wolf <laughs> is like a, a wharf. So it's probably where the, the, the word came. Okay. Um, and then uh, rancho is like a ranch. Mm -hmm. So that's in Papiamento, Wafi Rancho. Now often I get uh, also, where's the closest beach <laughs> from the port? I mean, let me get down first. Watch out with here. What's this? Whoa. Oh my God, this is deep. Oh yeah? Yeah. Gosh. That's scary. Hi. Yeah. Oh, we met before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh right. Yeah, I, I remember. Oh, yeah. Hi. You said you live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we remember. Yeah. How are oh, you? Good. How are you? Good. I've been watching so many of your videos now. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I my friends, I can't believe we're sitting in a room watching videos of a room. Uh, <laughs> That's funny, yeah. But, super nice. But anyways, we, nice. Love, we love when you do your vlogs and stuff, even though I guess you're afraid of dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah occasionally. Some of them are very, they bark. Yeah, yeah. They bark, yeah. it's scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And I guess the boa constrictor lived after you ran an old one. That might have been an old one. Yeah, well. The snake. I yeah, like she. Too. Oh, I she like likes snakes. them. Yeah, I, me too. I don't really. <laughs> I have a pet lizard at home. <laughs> okay. But, um, anyway. Are you a movie? Yes. Yeah. Is that okay? Sorry. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> You're gonna be. <laughs> I'm filming yeah, you, but I didn't ask. It, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna continue our our walk. You're doing and, a walk. Uh, oh, yeah. Run yeah. Walk yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. uh, three oh, three cruise fun. ships. So I uh, thought it's oh, uh, nice. It's got busy. Yeah. Last two or three days, four. correct. Yeah. Yeah, our yeah. house is right next to the cruise ship. So yeah. Like Make sure you go out a little bit tomorrow and uh, the there are day. so many things to do. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. All right. See you. Bye. Nice to see you. Yeah. Have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. 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 Nice evening. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, so we did. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Uh, That's her. Meet her. Um, yeah, it was around the uh, New Year's time. Yeah, with uh, Pagara. I don't think oh. she was in the video per se, but no, yeah. Talked, yeah. I, I was saying about the the beach uh, just before that, and uh, no, I don't recommend swimming here. I mean, could you technically? Yeah, kind of, but it's very dirty. I would mm -hmm. not do it. Uh, but you, if you want to get your feet wet or something like that, and think you're at the beach. Do not swim here. Haido said it. <laughs> and if you do, I'm not responsible. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do hear a lot of uh, background music uh, a little bit further up where we have planned to, to do the walk or to continue the walk. So if we get there and it is very, very loud, we're gonna continue the walk without, um, without any commentary and then we'll get back to you guys. It's also uh, good uh, noting. Wow, the music's so loud, where is it coming from? It uh, is right now uh, 5.51. Souvenir shops are certainly still open yeah. uh, with three cruise ships in port and uh, having, you know, being busy. Oftentimes, yeah. oftentimes, we leave for the last moment to buy our stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And this used to be a, like a fruit market uh, years ago, maybe uh, 20 years ago. Oh, I'm probably botching the years, but probably around 20 it was still uh -huh. and what was it exactly that the venezuelan um, boats came with the uh, fruits and they they um just docked here and from the boat they were just putting them all over these so if you ever see like an old photo of aruba you will see uh fruits like a fruit market here instead of a souvenir market. Mm -hmm. In Curacao yeah. you have it. Uh, In Curacao you have it. Yeah. And uh, I think that those are unfortunately 
traditions. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard that in Curso they're trying to like really making an effort to keep it, and it had to do with the border closing with Venezuela, and uh, yeah, it's unfortunate situations that we have here. But yeah, things change with the years. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to have. Uh, have it back where, yeah. the way uh, when I grew up, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. Yeah. This is the the paddock. There is someone who is uh, celebrating St. Patrick's yeah. Day. St. Patrick's. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have seen a, a, a few, few here yeah. and there, definitely. And uh, this weekend is, or especially tomorrow rather, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll be trying to upload this video even if it goes a little bit later than, than the usual. But tomorrow especially we are celebrating Aruba's... Uh, oh, let's see, let's take a right here maybe. Okay. Aruba's, um, as I said, national anthem and flag day. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of celebration, a lot of stuff all around the island yeah we are going to be also trying to film a little bit hopefully mm -hmm. we are able to yeah and uh, bring it to you at some point and we are now on the deck just uh, behind the lucy's and i'm trying to think if Happy birthday song is a copyright song. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably was at some point. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping it isn't anymore. So we can go pa past this music. Now this is, uh, we've dined here at uh, Lucy's and I can tell you it's a, it's a nice place for a sunset um, stop. Maybe a couple of beers, a burger and such. It's, uh, it's quite fun. Quite nice. Uh, yeah, I like view. the Lucy's too. Especially with the cruises, right? When, when yeah. there are cruise ships uh, in port, that's when it really um, stands out. Mm -hmm. A place like this, if you can just come and sit like in chairs yeah. like these and and get this view as you are drinking your beer and such. Mm -hmm. This is, by the way, the the boat we took to the Renaissance Island the other day. That's uh, mm -hmm. that is a um, oh okay. Now I'm gonna go uh, take a break because of the music, and yes. we'll be right back.
So are we back or are we back? Uh, the music is definitely still very, very loud. Very yep. nice music. You know. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, those are very popular music and get picked up <laughs> quite quickly. Oh, we should get a boat like that. Move Ooh, around. Some zodiac, yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. When I was young, we had uh, a boat like that mm -hmm. in uh, French. And we go fishing with my sister and my dad and my grandfather. Exactly the same boat. Yeah? Yeah, super I cool. mean, it, it looks very practical if you yeah, have one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Especially with Aruba that we have all of those little islands like the Renaissance Island. I'm not saying we're going to go on the Renaissance Island with it, but, <laughs> but I'm just saying you could technically go there. Yeah. You could go to the Palm Island or those types of islands, what I'm trying to say. This is a typical Aruban fishing boat. And pretty much the typical colors also, except the, the, the it misses the yellow, but it kind of has it with the buoy. So they built them from scratch to what you see here. And uh, yeah, it's nice to see them here in port also. Uh, this is also, and I'll leave this one maybe for you, a structure that's been built recently, the two flamingos. Uh-huh. It's super cool. Yeah, I love it. It's it's huge and um, I love um, that it's well. There was nothing, so it's yeah yeah super cool to see to make pictures with it. I think it kind of um, is here because this is where this 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 is the property of where you would take. The flamingo tours, uh, I have the flamingo tours, what am I talking about? The, to go to the Renaissance Island okay. to see the flamingos, yeah. especially. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see if uh, the camera is catching them. And, the uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, on the Renaissance Island there are exactly. Uh, the exactly. flamingos. Yeah. Okay. We should uh, at some point still uh, have a vlog coming out at some point of our stay and here people like to take photos here too <laughs> and they've uh, done some additions to it uh, to uh, for the Instagram I guess mm -hmm. now if you want to take a photo here at the flamingos I would recommend come in the morning where the Sun will be shining from the other side I think it's nicer and it's more practical. And so, with this, we also finish our walk for today. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's get out of the way for these folks. But it's, a, it's an active, uh, not market, but the fishing boats are getting in and the, the folks are still working. Yeah. Yeah, we hope uh, that you've gotten more information again from the videos that uh, we are producing. And uh, thank you for your support. Yeah. Remember to subscribe to Marlin's channel. <laughs> and, and thank you for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And yeah, yeah. I'm very happy with it. See you guys next week. Hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. Uh, any day nothing further or maybe we do <laughs> bye bye guys bye see bye you see next you next week, week. Mm. one two three four boom, boom. boom. <laughs>